Good afternoon, baseball fans. I'm Jared Ertman coming to you from Wildwood Baseball Park here in Sheboygan, Wisconsin to bring you exciting Sheboygan A's baseball action. Today, the A's take on the Lombard Orioles in a Wisconsin State League doubleheader. The uh, Orioles are 4-1 and one in the State League. And that puts them three games behind Kenosha. Namely because Kenosha has nine games in. They've won them all. But Lombard is certainly the favorite as the season progresses. progresses having won the league for over a decade straight. And the Lombard lineup this evening Jake Romero Ricky Angel, John Ryan Nick Mididero Scott Heelan Armand Candea Dan Correa Jack Lanwear Rick Susans and pitching against them for the A's will be Taylor Schwarz and the A's lineup. Luke Maldonado, Dan Barwick, Harry Stelt, Cole Hiley, Chad Langley, Greg Rude, Trevor Tyson, Lucas Wilson will be designated hitting, and rounding it out will be Jeremy McCarty. Pitching for Lombard is Jeremy Stackwick. Well, the A's looking to maybe take a game from Lombard here. Hopefully two. And we'll have the national anthem and we'll begin play momentarily. So the first three batters who will face Schwarz will be Jake Romero, Ricky Angel, John Ryan. Of course, the A's looking to get a game here with 
Swars. Swars struck out 17 batters in the game earlier this week. That put him on the all-time top 10 list for the A's. Of course, it's a little unfair. Back in the day, and I mean decades ago, they only played seven inning games. So there's guys with teens, strikeout totals in the teens who didn't have the extra six outs to get. First pitch of the game is a strike. But in any event, Schwartz is a very capable pitcher and now a foul ball lifted over the left field line, caught by Hiley. And that's one away. Number seven, Ricky Angel. And now Ricky Angel. Played a handful of years in the majors. Not a regular starter or even a regular substitute, but a bench player and a major leaguer nonetheless. That's certainly a, well, obviously it's the highest level of play you can get at. And he's still playing here. This Lombard club has nine players that went through its ranks that are currently playing in the major leagues. And now Schwarz sends a pitch in that makes Angel duck, but it hits him. And he's on first. John Ryan, now the batter. Schwarz sets and delivers. That's ball one. Throw over to first yields no results. And now ball two. That one outside. And ball three. Throw over to first. I know, back in time. And now that'll be a walk. Issued Ryan. And coming up will be Nick Mertadero. So in short order in the first, and now a high fly into center. Caught. Angel will take three, and that's two away. Lombard has put men on the corners. Mm, coming up will be Scott Heelan. Of 
Suarez finds the zone. Good pitch on the outside portion of the plate. Strike one. He sets and delivers the next one. This one lifted into the gap and it'll fall in left center. One run scores. Well, that'll be all. And the Oreos take an easy early lead. That's a double for Heelan. Swing and a grounder to third. Throw made. And the A's get out of the inning. But they'll have an early hole to overcome as they come up in the bottom of the first. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by DeFore Advertising. Bottom of the first coming up. Luke Maldonado, Dan Barwick, Harry Stelt, Cole Hiley. The uh, top of the order for the A's. Hopefully Hiley gets up, but you gotta take it by the numbers one at a time. Maldonado is in. Two and zero. Count on Maldonado. Swing and a grounder, backhanded at short. Throw made. One away. Dan Barwick. Ball one to Barwick. Oh, and two. There's that's how Maldonado started out, and Barwick now takes a strike.
Swing and a fly into shallow left. Caught. And Barwick is retired. Harry Stell now the batter. Number 17, Harry Stell. Stell has the most at bats of anyone in this Eagles organization. 46 on the year. Ball one to him. Strike one, low in the zone. And a low pitch that doesn't get high enough. Two and one. And now a pass ball. Doesn't do much more than make it three and one. Next pitch, foul out of play. On to New Jersey Avenue. And Stelt will take ball four. Ace have a base runner, and up comes Hiley. Number 41, Cole Hiley. Hiley watches strike one. Good take, that one was mean pitch. Low one that nipped the corner. Ball one. The one one pitch, highly swings and misses. And Hiley strikes out looking, and the A's go down. It's one nothing Lombard after one complete here at Wildwood Park. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball brought to you by Dufour Advertising. In the bottom, or the top of the first, rather, Schwarz will be facing Dan Curia, Jake Landwehr, Eric Susens. Three 
Ball one, Deloria. Swing and a drive into right. That one will fall. Deloria goes for two. Makes it standing up. And that'll bring up Jack Landwehr. Stelt catching this afternoon, and he allows a pass ball. It'll advance Gloria to third. Now a foul out of play. One and one. Swing and a pop up over by first. Langley catches it. And that's a F3 and out number one. Eric Susani. Two and all to him. Now three and all. Strike one. And then ball four. Susanne will get a walk. Jack Romero and Jake rather, Jake Romero. It's all in one to him. Schwarz sets and delivers. Swing and a miss. Throw over to first. Susana is back in time. The 0-2 pitch is a ball. Swing and a little Dribbler that goes foul. Four sets and delivers. That one quite a bit inside. Evens the count at two apiece.
Swing in one, lifted in to right. It'll fall. McCarty can't get to it. And one run will score on the single by Romero. Ricky Angel. Swing and a foul. Into the backstop. And now a first and third play. And a run will score off it. Romero broke to first. Stout made the throw. It wasn't in time. And then the throw to the plate was off. So that is three runs in for Lombard. I think they're going to call that one an error on Maldonado. Swing and a fall back. The one-two pitch, hard liner that goes foul. Schwarz still looking to find his rhythm, getting a groove here. Lombard certainly doing their best to prevent that. Swing and a liner that Stays in play over the third base line. That one went right past the outstretched glo glove of Greg Rude. And Rude looked down at his glove like he couldn't believe it. But that will result in the man on second. And now one into shallow left that neither Tyson nor Hiley will get to. And I think that's the definition of a Texas leaguer. Single for John Ryan. One and one, the count to Nick Mitadero. Swing and a grounder short, flip to second, one away, two away, and the A's turn a double play to get out of the inning, and not too soon. Three runs surrendered, four overall, and that is the deficit as the A's come up in the bottom of the second. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball brought to you by Dufour Advertising.
it will be Langley, Rudin, Tyson for the A's. Swing and a grounder that rolls foul over the third base line. Next pitch, Langley holds back on ball one. Swing in a high fly deep in the right. Out the warning track, but it's caught. Greg Rude, the batter. Owen to the Rude. And he swings and misses, and that'll be all for him. Trevor Tyson, the batter. Two and zero. Did you notice he just finished the one? Now strike one called. Then ball three. Swing and a grounder up the middle. Fielded, throw made. And the A's go down in order. And the score remains four to nothing, Oreos. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball brought to you by DeFore Advertising. Leading off for the Oreos, Scott Heelan. And he 
falls one away. And now a ball called on the curve. Two and one. Swing and one up the middle. Fielded throw. Good play by Tyson. Armand Candea is the batter for the Oreos, and he puts one into center that is caught by Barwick. Number three, Dan Loria. Dan Loria. Loria got a double his first time up, scored a run. Watches ball one. Then takes a strike. And then a ball. Schmoller is tried for the same location. Missed it. Two and one. Swing and a foul back. Two two pitches. Grounded foul. And now a grounder that is taken by Langley. And that will be three up and three down for the Oreos. And the A's will have the bottom portion of their lineup coming up. And the bottom half of the inning in an attempt to get on the board as they still have a big goose egg up there. Four to nothing after two and a half. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball brought to you by DeFore Advertising. Lucas Wilsing is a batter for the A's. Designated hitting. It's 1 and 0 to Wilsing. And now swung on and hit deep into right. Caught. Ryan had a beat on it, tracked it down, looked like he was 
pretty near the warning track. Regardless, that's one away. Jeremy McCarty, now the batter. Then ball two. Strike one called right down Main Street. I don't know if McCarty guessed wrong or this is just being overpowered by Stackwick, but it's two and two now. Curveball bends in for a called strike three. And to the top of the order, Maldonado. two and now a chopper up the middle field it at second throw made and that'll be it for the A's three up three down no runs scored as a result and after three complete it remains four to nothing Lombard this is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Dufour Advertising Up first for the Oreos. Yeah, yeah, how did it get there? Grounded or short, barehanded by Tyson, but no throw made. Oh, 
One runner aboard. No outs. Here in the top of the fourth. And that'll be strike three. Number four, Jake Romero. Back to the top of the order with Jake Romero. Romero watches strike two. One and two the count to him. Now ball two. And a steal attempt. He's in there. Throw is not in time. So now the count is two and two. Swing and a liner caught by Tyson. He tries for the tag. Dice for it. Doesn't make it. Landwehr. Makes it. Tried for the double play after catching the liner. Didn't quite make it. Two way. Number seven, Ricky Angel. Ricky Angel. Takes a strike. Swing and a miss. And now strike three called. And the Orioles leave one stranded and don't put up any runs. The A's. We'll have another three outs to try to put up their first run. It's 4 nothing Oreos. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball, brought to you by DeFore Advertising. Dan Barwick leads off for the A's. Back 
Owen won the count to Barwick. Oh, swing and a miss. Swing and a miss, strike three. Barwick goes down on three pitches. Now Harry Stelt strides to the plate. Swings and a bouncer to short, but that one will get into the outfield. That's a single for Harry Stelt. Cole Hiley is now the batter. Bunt attempt by Hiley, but he pops it up and is put out as it was caught by Stackwick. That's two away for the A's, and Chad Langley is the next batter. He'll swing and miss. And now a pass ball. We'll have Delta at second and a 3 1 count on Langley. That one wasn't blocked by Heeland. Three one pitch zooms in for strike two. Full count. Swing and a miss, and that's it for the A's. After four complete, they remain behind the Orioles for nothing. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball, brought to you by Dufour Advertising.
So into the top of the fifth we go. And it will be John Ryan, Nick Mitadero, and Scott Heelan for the Oreos. Ryan watches strike one, that one pretty far outside the zone. Strike one called, two and one. Now a fly in to left. Hiley is under it. Makes the catch. One away. Number 34, Nick Mididero. Nick Mididero. Swings and puts one into left. And that one will be out. Solo home run for Nick Minadero. That one looked like it was going yard from the moment it came off the bat. And at least it was uh, only a solo shot. Five to nothing now in favor of the Oreos. Scott Heeland. And he takes a strike. Good pitch by Schwarz. Come back after giving up the home run. Swing in an infield fly. Tyson will make the catch, and that's two away. Number 18, Armand Candea. Armand Candea. Looks at strike one on the breaking ball by Schwartz. The 0-2 pitch in the dirt. Swing in a grounder that'll get in the gap between short and third. That's a single. Number three, Dan Loria. Dan Loria. He's a left fielder on this. Orioles club. Oh, he lifts one in the left, highly under it, makes the catch, and that is three outs for the Orioles, but not before they get one on a solo home run and the A's will get their opportunity in the bottom half 
This is your boy, Ganes Baseball, brought to you by Dufour Advertising. Leading off for the A's, Greg Rude. Ball one to Rude. And strike one. Swing and a miss. And then another miss will make it three, and Rude goes down on strikes. And Trevor Tyson steps in. Swing and a follow into the backstop. And now a liner in the right. Tyson rounds first but stays. And that'll be just the second hit of the game for the A's. Lucas Wilson. Holds back, but strike called. Swing and a miss. And that'll put Wilson in an 0-2 hole. The 0-2 pitch is way outside. And then a breaking ball that doesn't quite find the zone. Ball two. Looked like a very good one, but We'll sing late off, and the ball was called. And now a shot in the left that is caught. Jeremy McCarty is the next day's batter. Looking to atone for a third inning strikeout. Strike one called.
Then ball one. Next pitch in the dirt. Throw made, but it heads into the outfield. Uh, it's going to be a successful stolen base attempt for Tyson. One pitch is swung on and missed. Stackwick sets and delivers. Ball three. Payoff pitch, swung on and missed. And the A's go down, leaving another zero in the frame. Five to nothing Lombard. This is Sheboygan A's baseball, brought to you by Dufour Advertising. So into the top of the six we go, and leading off for the Oreo is Jack Landwehr. He watches a good breaking ball. And now a grounder to short, fielded by Tyson. Langley has to jump to get the ball. And they're saying he was off the bag. Landwehr was headed back to the dugout, but... The umpire said Langley didn't get back on the bag before Landwehr crossed it. And now Tyler Martin's going out to discuss the issue. I think everyone in the ballpark besides the umpire thought that Landwehr was out, including Landwehr himself. He, had to, he hustled back to the bag at the behest of his teammates. Current score in the book is E6 for Tyson. For the errant throw. All the umpires are conferring. And after the umpire's conference, 
Landwehr is called out. So that will be a standard 6-3 play now. And one away. Number one, Eric Harry Stelt having a little conversation with the Orioles batter, who is Eric Susani. left will fall for a single number four Jake Romero Jake Romero And he pops one in the left that Hiley barely has to move for. Two away. Number seven, Ricky Angel. So with one man aboard, two outs, top of the sixth. Ricky Angel, the batter. Couple of falls away, make it 0 and 2. Steal attempt. What? He's caught, and that's it for the Oreos. So the Oreos are retired without scoring a run in their portion of the sixth. And the A's have six outs to try and narrow the five run deficit here. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by DeFore Advertising. Luke Molinato is the leadoff batter. And uh, now a grounder to first. Mitadero takes it himself. 
the Nats one away for the A's. Dan Barwick. The O one pitch. Strike two called. And then ball one, just a little low. Barwick steps out and then back in. Check, swing, ball two. Stackwick winds and delivers, swung on and hitting the right. Caught by Ryan. Two up, two down for the A's. Harry Stelt is now the batter. He will take strike one. And swing, and this one will fall in center. Solid shot. That had a pretty sound coming off the bat. Single for Harry Stelt. And Cole Hiley is the next day's batter. Ball one, high and inside. Strike one called, good pitch. Caught the inside corner. And ball two. Stackwake searched for the same spot. His search came up empty. Swing and a flying right. Ryan doesn't have to move to make the catch. And that's it for the A's in the sixth. Six are complete here at Wildwood Park, and the A's are down five to nothing against the Lombard Orioles. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball brought to you by Dufour Advertising.
as Sisanes was caught stealing. Ricky Angel will get a fresh plate appearance. Schwarz still on the mound for the A's. Pitching here in the final inning of the game. For those of you who may not know, double headers at this level of play are played to seven innings rather than nine. Breaking ball fouled into the backstop. That'll be strike one. Swing and now one deep in the left. Caught by Hiley. Barwick two converged on it. That's one away. John Ryan is the batsman for the Orioles. Oh, and uh, right center, that one tracked down by Barwick. Two men to the plate, two flyouts, and Nick Minadero. One and one, the call time, Mididero. Two and one, the count. And now a pop up that goes follow over at third base. Rude makes the catch. And Lombard has a scoreless seventh and the A's will have three outs to put up five runs and continue the game. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by DeFore Advertising. Pitching change for the Orioles. Stackwick 
is pulled in favor of Rob McDonald. McDonald. And he will be facing Chad Langley. Fall into the backstop. Count is 0 and 1. And another foul puts Langley in a hole. Swing and a miss. And Langley is out on three pitches. Greg Root is the A's batter. Strike one called. Grounder that goes foul and Root finds himself in the same situation as Langley did. Let's hope he makes more of it. Watches a ball. That one low. Two and two now. Rude looking for a pitch to hit. Thought he had it. That one deep in right, but it's caught. And two are away. And Trevor Tyson will represent the last chance for the A's. He swings, rounded second, throw made, and that is the ball game. The Lombard Orioles defeating the Sheboygan A's five to nothing. So the A's down in the first game of this doubleheader versus the Lombard Orioles. The A's fail to put up a run. They get three hits. For their part, Lombard gets eight hits to put up their five runs. The uh, winning pitcher is Stackwick. Losing pitcher for the A's, Schwarz. Schwarz didn't pitch too bad of a game. And it wouldn't have mattered either way. If you don't score any runs, you can't win. He allowed one in the first, three in the second, and then a solo homer in the fifth. And that was it for the scoring. And this Lombard team will take advantage of every mistake, every weakness, and they did that. Not a terrible game by the A's, but simply not enough. Hopefully they can do a better job in the nightcap. That one will be coming up. Scheduled for 7 o'clock. Well, tonight is Hall of Fame night here at Wildwood Park. Jason Bischoff will be being inducted. 
He'll be the 25th player inducted into the Sheboygan A's Hall of Fame. He was a key part of the A's WSL championship teams in 97 and 2001. And that 2001 season was in fact the last time any team besides Lombard took the Wisconsin State League. And I can't help but find a little bit of irony in the fact that a team from Illinois has owned the Wisconsin State League for such a period of time. But the A's have challenged Lombard in the past a few times at least. Besides those two championship seasons, the A's finished in second a few times, but they've had precious few victories against Lombard. With this loss, the all-time series goes to 73 wins for Lombard and only 21 for the A's for a winning percentage by the A's of about .222. I mean, this is a very good Lombard team. And the A's will look to take one from them at least coming up here in the nightcap. First pitch scheduled for 7 o'clock. I hope you'll listen in for that one. This is Jared Ertman signing off for now.